Are you struggling to conceive? You have options, and at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. And we're live. Welcome to Track Up Here, episode number 232 with your pals Alan and Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. Rapid Dave. Uh, Lee, I hate to break it to you, brother. You made a mistake. You should have went fishing. I would have went fishing. You should have went fishing. I love uh, fishing. Well, well, I appreciate you tuning in, though. Yeah. Hey, you know? Thanks. <laughs> I can appreciate it. Uh, games with brews in the house. Is it games with brews, brews are us, or games with stuff? I don't T- know. What, today don't... it's games with brews. Jesus Christ. You can't you know, it's figure different, out. What... It's different every week. You can't figure out what's going on with this guy. Billy Joe coming in with the uh, exclamation mark followage uh, 87 years. Oh, yeah, we don't have, we don't have uh, a problem. Games with Bruce described as a tier one sub. Thank you so much. Hey, man. Uh, Billy Thanks. Joe coming in with how about them Chiefs? How about them refs, right? Oh, God. Oh, God. You, you have see, to love that, that holding. That we're going to have? You have to love the holding no, where call. Where you see them pull on the jersey, and they're like, no, no, you make that call in the first and the second quarter, but you don't make that call in the fourth quarter. You're not, Why are not? We looking, are we not looking at the Why same not? one? Why not? We're not looking at the same one? Because that thing was like barely. He just had a – just. Just holding him, just a little, just you know, walking down, walking him down the field a little. Yeah, bit. It, that wasn't a tug. That was no tug. That was a tug. But anyways, fishing. When was the last time you went fishing? Oh God, I don't even know. Do you even have you ever fished in your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I had my fishing merit badge when I was in the Boy Scouts. Oh, there. So. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. But be. no, I think, um, man, I love fishing. Like I, I think I, I like drinking more than I like fishing, and so that's what you know. That's what it does. For I me. went fly fishing with a buddy. God, give me a break. Ago. I would try it. I mean, the fucking refs give you plenty of breaks. You should be on vacation at this point. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, I wasn't the only one either because I was like, you know, I was just at a party. I wasn't even on the social media or anything like that. And I kind of saw it. I go, eh. And I, I was like, eh, I don't, man, who cares? Who knows, right? I've been like on my fifth scotch. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like on my this third. This is at the point where I'm like talking to you. I think it was like the third quarter. I'm like, oh, so-and-so got paid. You're like, I'm drunk. I'm not paying anybody anything. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. Like by the time it was over, I was just like, I'm done. Like I can't. I can't do it. So, yeah, thanks, Games of Bruce. Appreciate that tier one sub. But uh, so, yeah, what, what? I, I saw it and I was like, oh, God. I, I was fine with the game until the final two minutes. Casey ran down the clock like little punks. Oh, you know. Uh, what are you what? not? What are you? Oh, I'm going to throw it, and I'm going to give you the ball back so right. you can beat me. Let, let me go ahead and hurry up and score. No, Jeremy Kinnon had the play of the game <laughs> by taking the knee, you know, going down oh, on the one-yard line, right? I remember because that. Because you've seen teams go in and score, and then the other team scores, and the, then gets an onside <laughs> kick. You know, you've seen it happen, The right? defensive players, if they could have got their hands on him, would have picked him up and threw him into the end zone yeah. to get the ball back. They weren't trying to tackle him. Yeah, yeah. Melton in the house, my least favorite podcast. What's going on, fellas? Just living the dream, man. It was the It's the championship. Go out on your shield, not your knees. What? What? That's the uh, that's, that's absurd. Have you ever watched a soccer game? That's, like, <laughs> that, that's the same thing where people are like, "No, you make that call in the first quarter, but you don't call that penalty in the fourth quarter." Uh, then, you, no, you, if you call in the first quarter, you call in the fourth quarter because the first you quarter call calls. The game, it dictates how you play. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. What are we drinking? What, we're drinking from yeah, the what, Shoots just, Brewing. Just, just shut your whore mouth and just let's talk about the beer. Beer. It's four point eight percent alcohol by volume. Uh, this fine beer you're holding was. Crown winner of Pilsner Fest. Nice. You, I mean, you wouldn't believe I got this beer, right? <laughs> I saw it. I go, ooh, a I Pilsner. Mean, <laughs> I, it's not a Kolsch, so I'm shocked. <laughs> there was a Kolsch right next to it, but I took the Pilsner. Pilsner's my second favorite style. Lizzie's in the house. What's up? Uh, Hurst had no more arm strength. He proved that many times in the fourth. I I just think Kansas City just they went out and won in, it. They, they went out and they won it. Yeah. They locked they were, it they down were, in the fourth had, quarter, oh. and they just said, we're winning this. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, it was like that first quarter. You're like thinking you're, or your first, the first half. You're thinking to yourself, like, oh, Philly's got it. But then I was like, well, let's see what happens towards the end of it. Oh, at halftime, I threw all the money I had in my Bovada account on KC. <laughs> yeah, like I threw it all on it straight up. I go, we're we're winning this. Oh, Pilsner Fest is just a bunch of Czech guys getting drunk on a Tuesday. Sounds like my kind of party. I mean, 
What's wrong with that? I don't know if you're trying to slander it I or I can't tell. I because really right tell. now that just sounds like a great time. It's, it's all that sounds. I went super hard on the pour. Just you just did what you do. I went hard on my pour, and here's what I got. I just wanted to dump it in there. I love pilsners. The Patriot Dad in the house. What's going on, Darren? Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, uh, you're. I don't know who the gentlemen are you're speaking to. Hashtag for Lizzie coming in from Billy Joe. Thank you so Billy much. Joe. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, brother. Oh well, yeah, no, it. Uh, you know, I, I, I miss fishing. You know, and, and fish season is kind of coming up for us. It's, you know, springtime's on its way where it's not too hot. You can get out there, wet a line. Uh, I think I thought about getting my fishing license this year to kind of get back at it. I just miss fishing from a boat, right? That's more right. of my thing. Okay. Fish from a bank is fine, but you got to find the bank, right? You know what I mean? If you're out by the lake, you kind of you, know, you got to find a spot a you know, and hang out. Yeah, I mean, it's this is going to be basic as shit. <laughs> but I like that he's riding a little bicycle. That is pretty cool with a scepter. Or a dildo. You see that thing? It's ribbed for your pleasure. It could. Well, uh, it's got a hop on the top of it. You sure? Oh, it's you a hop. Oh, I see the line. Yeah. Okay, okay. You got to turn it. If not, but it just yeah. looks like a butt plug with an extension handle on it. A little bit. A little bit. Just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I see know, that. But yeah, no, it looks like. Uh, a, from that distance, that's uh, what it looks like. What's your go-to lake to fish at, Rapid? Um, Around here, it used to be Lake Louisville. Yeah, I used to live in Little Elm. So the boat ramp was about a mile from my house. And it was like a 7-Eleven in between, so I'd stop at 7-Eleven, fill up, and get like all the beer I could fill on the boat, and then uh, roll on out of there. And there you go. I mean, I was in the water within 10 minutes. Yeah, but now that's changed. Now that that whole area is like ridiculous now. Like the where I used to go launch the boat, it's now like you know eight lanes of boat launches. It's like beach volleyball going on. It's it's some Little attraction arms blown up. Yeah, it's and come so up. I just thought I have I have no interest in going out there. But that that's where it was. I do like Lake Grapevine as well. Okay. Yeah. But plug with an extension created all new keywords to reach out and touch someone. I'm telling you, yeah. this thing looks like it's made to reach out and touch someone. For sure. Billy Joe, uh, Mahomes in the second half completed every pass except one that was a throwaway, scored on every drive. Yeah, no, Kansas City. We're going we're gonna to get into the Super Bowl. Don't worry, Billy Joe. We're going to get into it. It's going to yeah. get its due for sure. Uh, but, yeah, Google no, the Chiefs came out in the, calls in, the Super Bowl. In, in the second half. Um, they just... They went out there and they won the game. As I'm typing in terrible calls into Google in the AFC Championship game. So we got to get past that one, and then I'll get uh, the Super Bowl uh, in there. Uh, in Super Bowl. <laughs> make, make sure you specify which Super Bowl. <laughs> Ball don't lie. The three worst calls for NFL refs during Super Bowl 57. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Mr. Busby's in the house. How you doing, buddy? Mom, dude, I've been following mostly football for quite a while now on, uh, fo- uh, on, on Facebook. On internet.com? We, he only goes to internet.com. He doesn't go anywhere else. He's yeah. on the oldest dinosaur Just there is. Internet.com. For, and, but I've been enjoying his content. I really yeah. have. He shares out a lot of stories, uh, makes a lot of posts and whatnot. It's like, okay, you know, I really enjoy it. So check him out. I make sure I mash that uh, like button I subscribe. I have to hit the like button because if I don't, then it won't show me it anymore. You know, right. with, the, yeah, with, yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with Facebook, if you scroll past something, it's like either you want to, like, look, I'm liking this just because I want to keep seeing it, and it's, you know, stuff like that. And so if you don't I like don't it. I don't really like it, but yeah, I have it's, to it's like, like it so eh, I can see it. You know, right? maybe this one. Did, I like the train wreck, but yeah. do, should you like the train wreck? Like, it's always weird, right? Like, I feel bad, like, scrolling by something that's like Because then maybe someone's going to see that you liked it, and you're yeah. like, well, I mean, me I don't really like it, yeah. but I just want to see more of it. That's yeah. it. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. That's how it works. This is okay. It just tastes like it's a pilsner. Just, it's just a pilsner. Super clear. I mean, it's, it's beautiful looking. It is the winner of Pilsner Fest. So, you know, that's why he said Pilsner Fest. <laughs> Bunch of Czech guys getting drunk on a Tuesday. What the hell is wrong with getting drunk on a Tuesday? What else are you going to do on a Tuesday? <laughs> it's Tuesday. I don't. I don't even understand. Like. So who'd you say was on that? We're watching a. So we're changing it up a little bit tonight. We have AEW wrestling on one side, and then we have some uh, uh, pro ball basketball on the left side. Was there like Ass Blaster four thousand that came out or something? Uh, like daddy that? Ass. Oh, okay. Because I was like really confused. Like, what the hell are we watching? It's like it's like accredited and Daddy Ass. I was like, what <laughs> is the Daddy Ass accredited or what's going on here? Like, oh god! And just a second ago, one of the guys, I think it might have been Daddy Ass, uh, comes out of the ring, and there's a bunch of fans there on the side, uh-huh. and they're like scissoring each other with like their hands, like oh, do it, doing that's their yeah, thing. That's, that's the, the they move. Scissor each other, yeah. Jesus. Don't tell Whiskey you're watching wrestling now. I yeah. no, I, I just put it on. You know, I, I was at like a local uh, taco shop. I uh, am so lost on this conversation. <laughs> so am I. I bounce around as much as I can. I like to keep it spontaneous, yeah. but yet fun. MJF is contractually obligated to appear in Laredo. Tonight. 
<laughs> They're in Laredo, like Laredo, Texas. I mean, I don't know of any other Laredos. <laughs> God. No, yeah. So we just we decided to put on a little bit of uh, wrestling just to mix it up. But yeah, no. This I saw someone watching wrestling at El Taco. So down the street from my house, there's a really okay. cool uh, taco place, street tacos, good good food, and they have like craft beer. Okay. So it's like you know you, you pop tacos in the, and beer. Yeah, dude. And so I mean, come on. Really good tacos and really good beer. So I'm like, okay, all right, you know, let me let me go check this out. And we were in there, and then one of the TVs they had wrestling, effing wrestling on, and two this dude and his wife were like sitting there watching it, like they were watching it, yeah. watching oh, it, yeah, like yeah, it was yeah, a World yeah, yeah. Series or some shit. Yeah. There are wrestlers called Daddy's Ass. Uh, just one, just one wrestler called Daddy Ass. I think it's uh, not Daddy's Ass. It's Daddy, Daddy Ass. Yeah, yeah, Daddy. I read it as Daddy's because he's got the two apostrophes in there because he's trying uh, to keep it clean. Oh right, right, right. Um, right. Otherwise, they just block out his message, and then you got to push the button to see oh, what he God. said, right? I we, yeah, I don't know if we have um, that here, but I hope we don't. I don't know, man. Either way, um, it sucks. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah, there's a wrestler called Daddy's Ass. Or Daddy Ass. I'm sorry. Not Daddy's. Oh, yeah. Daddy. <laughs> but welcome to the show tonight. We're having, again, uh, Crispy <laughs> by the Shoots, and we're going to talk some Super Bowl. Uh, we're going to talk travel. We're going to talk... Uh, well, no, there was something else that we're, we're pitchers and catchers reported today. We do have what is today? Or what is it? National today? Whatever. Today is what? National today day or what whatever. That'll There's be later. a lot of things that today is. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Uh, check us out at strikeoutbeer.com. And if you want more content, go over to patreon.com slash strikeoutbeer. Get in for the low, low price of $3 and get all the extra content, all the beer chugs, all the yeah. uh, extra pictures, the previews to the, the shows. And, uh, you know, buy your old pals a beer. How about yeah, that? Yeah, how's that sound? Yep. I'm bringing back my Friday just kind of chit chat session where mm-hmm. I just uh, upload a video and I just talk about something. Oh, I drink a beer and I just talk about what whatever's going on in my world. You probably should you like know? you know not don't lead with that what? you know to, just, to like oh I'm doing some extra some cool people beer like reviews. and I'm doing I'm doing <laughs> the, it's a beer review but I'm also doing giveaways. In you should there. do pizza and a beer review. Um, I had that thing hooked down for a reason, so you wouldn't mess with it. I was trying to help you out. Wait, wait, it help just, me help you. I, it, when I, I know, it, it's I know. Just, push, push it down. Push, feed it down the, the ah. loop a little bit. There you go. There you go. I'm just doing too it. much work here. I know. I know. This is not. That's not what the talent does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I try to make it as dummy proof as I can, but I did want it to because I didn't want it to hang where it was in our way and we'd hit right, it. And I hear Because no, like I, I had to move the mic. We moved yeah. the table. But next week, we're going to move the table again because we're going to well, have Well, we a haven't special... asked them yet. Well, I know. But we're going to have a special guest. We're not telling you who. And then... Well, why can't we? Because I don't want to. He's here. We should ask him if he wants to Is he join here, us. here? Yeah. I mean... Who's here? He's commented. Mm. Is that who you want? You guys you got... missed my party? I did. 100%. I was going to go a thousand... I wish I could have gone, You're but... such a jerk. You should have went. Why don't you pop in and go? I had family crap going on. What we fam- do, you we don't, don't have any family. What do you mean I don't have a family? You don't have family. I live with a family. Oh, you live with a family? That's <laughs> that <laughs> is mine. God, you were such I have a two kids and I miss it. You I, know, I got No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, you, you have uh So, anyways, I was going to go to your party, Henson, but I was out of town. I swear to God I was going to go. But I had already booked the, the other thing, and so it crossed with the other. I was, I was going to go. And Lizzie was like, "No, you're not." I was like, "I am. I was gonna go. I was gonna. I was like, man, I'm get, I'm getting out of my shell. I'm gonna start going to places. I don't know, you know, what's happening. I don't know the people there. You know what's happening. A good time. I'm no right. That's why I was like, I just want to go. No, go. but no, I. I, I uh, really Bruce, with us. Go. Are you in here? Games with Bruce. Are you still in here? Or whoever raise, you are, raise your today. hand. But anyway, uh, yes, event. That was quick. All That's right. why you, you gotta you, love Twitch, right? You, you're, Twitch. you're gonna come next week and eat your chip. There were some bets made. Some guarantees. I blame the Lions fan on this show. Blame blame me for what? Sure thing. Okay, so special guest next week will be uh, Bruce with Steph. So we're going to have some beers. We'll do some pre-show beers. We had a, well, Let me tell you this. We had a freaking blast. And Whiskey should be joined. Hopefully Whiskey will join us too. Do you want to do a double? Yo, they both owe a chip for the same bet, so you, why not? With, uh, I haven't seen Whiskey in Game here. of Bruce. Uh, you try to text Whiskey or send him a text or something like that. Get him in here. But, uh, yeah, so we'll do that. And then we'll we'll have plenty of we got a ton of beer to drink anyways, and then I, we all we always have the bourbon sitting there in the back, and you know it, things happen. Yeah, well we we were we kept it under control I think last week we did even, 100%. even as as I'll tell you what it was one of the most fun light shows that we've done in a while. Light show was a little sloppy, yeah. but the first one was like you know just sitting there talking you know riffing, and that's the thing right? Like if we have you on as a guest as a guest host. Then you're here as a, like an equal and hanging out. We're just going to yeah. talk. We're going to riff. We're going to keep going. But if we we're here to interview, you, that's different. You know what I mean? If you right. if you're on the show to to be interviewed and if talk, you're to here our to people. be interviewed. You're 
are superior, right? At that point in time, right? <laughs> you're not an equal then. We, we you're you're it, far better than us if we're interviewing. We you. definitely make it a big deal if you're uh, a guest, but yeah, if you're a co, if you we're bringing you on as a co-host, yeah. you know, we're definitely we're not asking you particular questions. We're asking you the same questions we're asking one another, especially like with the hypotheticals and things like that. Yeah. And I I really did have a blast last week, and it was it was a lot of fun. I've watched enough people do the chip thing. The absolutely, uh, certainly, I will not. I don't plan on doing it either, Darren. I did it. Um, Alan did it. I've seen him do it once, and he was fine for a little bit, and then he was looking like he was in a lot of pain. I, I feel I like re- it's recouped. I, I feel like it's easier than most people yeah. come in. In other words, I'm always being interviewed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let us know when you want to be interviewed again. Isn't he always interviewed, man? If I have the chance to, I interview him. Yeah. Well, I think we need to instead of interview you on instead of talking online, I think you need to come over. Like one yeah. one time, and you know you can hang out with like, the first show. We 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 drink and have fun and goof around or whatever. The second show is for NAs, uh, non alcoholic beers, non non alcoholic drinks, things and like under that. The table hand jobs. It, yeah. yeah, well, you take care of that. Yeah. But yeah, you and the monkey. You know the monkey we got around here. Like, it's like pulling my toe uh, right now. Alan did like, not look good after eating the chip. Yeah, I had some issues, but one you don't like spice. I, but yeah, I don't know why. But you did I it. I did it for the people. You did it I did it did it for the people. Where's all the women in this wrestling? Match? There's none. I haven't seen one. It's a big you're old like, hot dog. You're part. like, oh, let's watch wrestling. There's there's gonna be some chicks. And so far, I've seen daddy ass. <laughs> Freaking uh, the body, Gibbiati. <laughs> commercial. <laughs> How long until you drink something, Alan? He's, we're drinking this right here. What? Yeah, we're on the same beer. Oh, uh, with the chip. So I was lied to with the chip because I wanted to go five minutes. And I was prepared to go five minutes. Okay. And then I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm waiting, mm-hmm. and I, I'm going through it. And then one of the guys that was there with his phone out, timing it, goes, it's been five minutes. And I said, Spice cool. Spice like Dune. No. no. Not like that. Um, or Star Wars. I'm all about that. But um, so he told me it had been five minutes. And so I was like, awesome, cool. I made it five minutes. That's all I wanted to do. And so I, you know, I drink some beer after that and, and things like that. Um, and then come to find out the guy lied to me and it was like two and a half minutes. It seemed longer than that. It did. I, I've gone back and watched the video. It was two and a half minutes. It was about two and a half minutes. Huh. Uh, it felt like 30 minutes. So let me ask you this question. Yeah. Like, so when, when people make the one chip bet with you, like they have like brews and whiskey, right? Right. So are, are they falling the, the, the. They got to go five minutes. That's that's what we talked about on the show. So that's how it works, right? That's, the one chip challenge is a standard. Hey, you got to go five minutes once you eat that's, it. That's or you put it in your that's mouth. What we, you... That's what we agreed on for the bet last week. Okay, was you had to eat it and you had to wait five minutes. Okay, if you get sick over here, I'm just gonna like you know kick you out if of the I house. If I make it a minute, I'll be happy. We'll do it outside. You think so? Like yeah. Well, then we're not doing it during the show. Then obviously, because it'll be outside. I mean, we could do a portion of the show outside. No, we, we can figure it out. We can't, no, we can't what? Get well, we don't out. have a phone. That we could just bring up. Uh, I mean, that seems like a lot of work. Like, it, it, you know what I like is sometimes you're like, you know, we can do it. We can get it done. And then you're just sitting there kind of hanging out. All right, man, let's go. And then you're, like, you're just expecting me to pick up my phone and walk outside. Like, uh, it's not, you're not going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing it. <laughs> I don't understand the question. Yeah, exactly. You're like, <laughs> it's logistics that you don't have to figure out. But yeah, okay. I did figure out the logistics. So you do grab it. your phone. So I'll sit in here. You throw your microphone on your phone. You walk out and you record it. So I got to go out there? Or not record it, but uh, yeah. Y'all need a producer over there to control the cameras. <laughs> we had one. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we pissed him off so bad he moved out of fucking state. <laughs> state. Like, like not just, even like the next state over. <laughs> he went out west. Just clear across the country. Slappy plays. What's up, Slap? Hi, guys. Hope you're well. Is it me or did Dave... Go to the wrong city this week. The Vegas Super Bowl is next year. Oh, uh, that is next year. Yeah. And they're already talking about how expensive the tickets are going to be. Oh, it's going to be absurd, right? And on top of that, how like most like most like common folk won't be able to get in there because yeah. the casinos are going to buy all the tickets anyways and give them to their their high rollers yeah, and things yeah, like yeah. that. So yeah, like and we talked about that for the show, or I was talking about that because I was like. We were, I was out there watching the Super Bowl, and we were already talking. I was like, this one wasn't too expensive. Actually, prices went down quite a bit. So if you were, like, over in Scottsdale, you could have gotten into the Super Bowl for, well, like, I under think they, four they grand. Actually, no, they went up after it was Chiefs and Eagles. And it was – I think the cheapest ticket was somewhere around 5500 
Okay. So that's yeah. less than what it normally yeah. is in. But I thought it got down in the fours for some, like even like on StubHub, it went down. Uh, if you got it earlier. You probably know the feeling. Sweaty, fast breathing, quick heart rate. That's a cortisol spike. It feels awful. And its imbalance is the cause of your anxiety. Rebalance Health's three-part anxiety system helps address it at the root. Rebalance Health lozenges are natural and designed for optimal absorption, providing 24-hour relief. Live life fully without feeling like you're fighting for it. Get 50% off your first month with code CALM23 at rebalancehealth.com. The Hartford Small Business Insurance knows that running a small business is a big-time commitment. So this holiday season, they're celebrating hardworking small business owners with a chance to go to iHeartRadio Jingle Ball in Miami on December 16th. Nominate yourself or another small business owner for a chance to win a trip for two. Includes airfare, two-night hotel, tickets to the show, plus $1,000 in spending cash. For official rules and entry information, visit iHeartRadio.com slash small business. You definitely could have got it for around round four. Round four, but like two, like after it was decided, I think the cheapest seat was was five or a little bit over that or something like that. Okay, so but yeah, so with it being in Vegas, they're talking about like how the tickets are going to be just astronomical. You're probably going to be looking at just to get in the door like ten, and it's like, I mean, listen, that stadium's cool, and you'd almost want to be there for the Super Bowl because it's going to be crazy. But this year, it was so effing busy. Like it was so Vegas. crazy, yeah, uh, so crazy busy this year, and it's like I can't even imagine if the damn Super Bowl was actually there, and how expensive it's gonna be. Like me- next year, I probably won't go yeah. because of the fact that every hotel is gonna be crazy through the roof. You know what I mean? I won't Book be able it to, now. I won't be able to fly there. I won't be able to get in for free. Book fly there for free, and I, I just don't see it. I don't, sometimes you can't go that far in the future, but well, it's insane. And then in November, I think there's the the. The IndyCar race or whatever that's coming okay. out there. It's supposed to be nuts. Yeah, Vegas got yeah. a lot of shit going on. Dude, Vegas is back. I'll tell you right now. Vegas is back. Okay. It was crazy. All right. Like crazy busy. But, yeah, Slap, what, you, what? all right, so here's a question. Everybody has changed their name in the last uh, 30 days. What the hell y'all changed your name for? Like, everybody's just changing their names. Why not? I don't know. Sport them. I guess, right? Avoid legal charges. Is Slappy, or are you? Uh, dodging the man. You're dodging the man. Be honest with Damn us. Damn the man. And then games are bruised. He changed every like every nah, every month. Every day. <laughs> like, Last week he was <laughs> Bruise R Us. Yeah. He even said Bruise R Us in the damn beer review. I didn't I, like who I was before, so I went back to my old name or close to it. Oh. Okay. So uh, what are we supposed to say? Grant uh Games of Brews? I don't know. That's why like last Bruise week was, Steph? like last week I was like, I didn't know what to call him. So I just said and And he goes, Bruise R Us. I'm like, oh, And Bruise R Us, and yeah. Of course it's not even in it. Yeah. Try not to plan too far out with all the aliens and Chinese balloons threatening us. <laughs> oh my god! I was sitting in there I'm like they like they popped up the news and it said they like shot down four things in eight days. I'm like, what the hell are they shooting? I was like, what a bunch of wild ass people out there. And then I saw a news article today. It's like China's not happy with us blowing our their stuff out of our skies. <laughs> Wait a minute! No, we're not happy. You don't get to not be happy. We're the ones not happy here. Oh, you're watching CNN. That's some shit CNN would say. Like they're not happy about. They should be able to fly whatever they want over. There. Have you watched this shit yet? The power. The power I, I mean, I've seen. It's been around for a while, yeah, yeah, but now yeah, it's like yeah, official yeah. league. It's like the it's dumbest part. Of, shit it's part of like the UFC and stuff. I he, think yeah, like Dana created, White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. God, boredom, but I uh, I have my usernames flagged for abusive content, whatever, no biggie. Abusive content? What kind of abusive content are you producing over there, sir? I'm called Games. I've called Brews, so I made it simple. Games with Brews. Okay. A brew games would be simple. Right? Like, But then it sounds like you're it's a, a drinking competition or something oh. like that, or you're brewing. And, I like how it sounds better. Yeah. It flows better. Brew games. It rolls off the tongue. Brew games or game yeah. brews? Brew games? Brew games. Brew games. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Or Steve. Dude, you should just go by Steve. Steve. Does sound good. You it know what we need? so much better. A Steve? We need a thin show? crust uh, t- Little Caesars pizza. Okay. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Our next beer review is going to be standing out front of a Little Caesars. <laughs> God. Oh, I'm down. I'm down with oh, that for you're sure. Down, like you're always down. Oh, yeah. oh, God, that guy's bleeding. Oh, he just slapped him in the chest. Does slapping in the chest do anything other than annoy the shit out of you? Uh, I mean, that's just the. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's a throat. Forearm. A little shiv. Uh, I, mean, I mean, what can I say? I'm playing 
that wizard game you can't talk about. So yeah, apparently that is that's a thing. That is question mark. Why hey, why can't you call the it's uh, Harry Potter the, Legacy that wizard that. game you can't talk about? Why yeah. can't you talk about it? I'm I know, so confused right now. I know now. there's some things. I've that, heard a lot of people talking about it. Yeah, and now, streaming there, it. There, there, there are a lot of people in the LGB community that are upset because, um, what's her name? J.K. Rowling has a lot of hot sports opinions about transgender people. Yeah. And they're like, oh, by buying that game, you're supporting her and her opinions. I'm not supporting her opinions. Maybe I just like wizard stuff. I mean, I, I haven't gotten the game, and I'm not playing it. Yeah. Right. And I have no plans on doing it because just because I just don't play games. Right? It looks cool. Like Liz was trying to like she was we were watching it the other night because one of her friends had it on or was streaming it with another right. streamer. And she's like, I don't get it. And I go, well, it's a role playing game. She goes, what's that mean? I go, you walk around and pretend you're a fucking wizard. I don't know what to tell you. And she's like, really? I go, yeah, I, it's, it's like, you know. I'm trying to explain it to her. I go, it, and You're so like, I call it a Thursday night. Thing. She's she's like, this is this is so boring. I go, well, the guy's not the the You're fucking not. streamer's not talking. He's just streaming the game. He's just playing the game, not like, interacting like, or anything. Like the guys who will jump on Twitch and pretend they're playing Madden, but it's really a football uh, like the, the Sunday ticket or something. <laughs> that those guys are heroes, is what that is. Those guys are legends. Every time you see that shit pop up, and they're just playing the Sunday ticket. <laughs> like, you got Andrew Siciliano in the background. You got the red zone going on. Oh. And the guy just sitting there with a controller. <laughs> Those guys are awesome. Not doing anything. They're just there with a controller. That's the, that's the people you want on Twitch, man. They're awesome. Shit. Yeah. They're doing a service for the people. Because, yeah, I couldn't keep a straight face. I mean, that's I love. I love, love, love the red zone. And we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do next year about it because it's going to YouTube. So I don't know if we have to subscribe to YouTube and then subscribe to that. I don't know. It popped up during the uh, the Super Bowl, and we were and Liz was like, "What are we gonna do?" I was like, I don't know. "We're gonna figure it out, though." Yeah. We're gonna I'm, I'm curious about the price. It's got to be cheaper than it was, right? Right? Because let me tell you, really I high. spend a spend an S ton on it. <laughs> it's got to be something like reasonable. Well, it's like an extra sixty bucks for I don't even know how many months, like half the year or something like that, or I don't even know. I just throw money at it. I just know there's a part of the year where my bill's higher than it is the rest of the year. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to have. <laughs> just, I'm just trying to watch. I just, football. Wa- I just want to watch the Lions play football. That's it. Yeah. Is, is that so wrong? And I get to watch the Bengals. But luckily, though, since oh, it's just doing the tailspin with that guy. Luckily, the Bengals have been good lately, so they're on most. You of You see the a lot of their yeah. games, right? I see a lot more but, than I used to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is a college red zone necessary or are the games split up well enough to where you don't need it? Never in my life ever thought about college red zone. I mean, There's, I mean, I don't, I don't watch college football that much. I, I barely watch college football. I honestly, like and I hit backwards. Oh, great. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I mean, don't it might be cool. cool. Right. I mean, if you want to sit there and just watch, yeah. Watch scoring. Non-stop. Just, just I mean, it'd right. be nonstop. Think about yeah. the scoring. Because there's football. so many games going yeah. on, right? Yeah. Like, it's an absurd amount of games that are being You played. rang. What's up, mother effer? You coming next week to eat your chip whiskey? Because you <laughs> lost that bet. You little shit. Hey, while you're at it, bring Nate over, too. <laughs> We're going to have a full house of assholes. <laughs> a bunch of guys who make awful bets. <laughs> it's the awful bet show, people. Come on in. But Nate's the biggest loser because he's got to eat two chips. Oh, God. I ain't seen that guy in like a month. Two months. Completely. Well, so I typed in college red zone, and would you like to hear what came up? Yeah. I don't know if I, if I, what's going on here. Uh, the red zone is the period of time from the beginning of the fall semester to Thanksgiving break, or for, to uh, Thanksgiving break, when sexual assaults in the, on U.S. Oh, college campuses spike. The? Although every student, regardless of age or gender, is at risk, freshmen and females are the most vulnerable. So that's the oh. red zone in college. Is that what you're talking about? I don't, uh, Dylan. Uh, I mean, it's Dylan. Busby, Dylan so I, I don't know, know, right? Man. Like Dylan, did you make I don't me? Know just, what he's talking about? Did you make me read that shit? God, what is your problem, Dylan? But apparently, uh, from from in which you still the, need to eat my jock strap. I need your address. Beginning, beginning of fall semester to Thanksgiving. Apparently, I call that the green zone. What? Oh my god! What is going on here? Oh, God. We've lost control of the show. <laughs> so vulnerable. 30, 30 minutes in, on? 30 minutes in, and we get this shit. You know, that's why I don't Google anything anymore. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. 
Oh, oh ah. so vulnerable. That's the wrong type of scoring. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I would say so. Yeah. That's something we don't know. We are anti-sexual assault on this show, just in case you were curious <laughs> what our stance was. Not next week. Uh, next small medical procedure week after sure. Okay. You getting that uh, penis enlargement? Or rectum, and rectum enlargement? Or he's it's one of the two. Uh, the tucking of the ball sack because it's hanging too low. Oh my god! So you got to have it. You got to have it tucked, right? Had that, had that problem. You get, you get the had, sack tucked, right? Had that problem this week. I was like, Jesus Christ! When you get, you know, when you we hit... are not a pro Deshaun Watson show. We are anti no, no, Deshaun not, Watson. Don't say that. I will throw your ass out of you, stupid cat. We are anti. <laughs> what do you get kicked Just in the case nuts? You're curious. He's on the ground trying. Like... We are we are anti Deshaun Watson. I'd like to get everybody's thoughts on. New on Curiosity Stream. I'm James Burke. I'm going to take you on a journey through time. James Burke's visionary series returns, reimagined for our time. Now, this is all uncharted territory. The Washington Post hails Burke as one of the most intriguing minds in the Western world. The New York Times raves he careens from one great moment in history to another. Where do we want to go from here? Experience all new connections. So what's the next connection? With monthly, annual, and bundled plans, find the one that works for you at CuriosityStream.com. On uh, why wrestlers don't wear pants. They wear the, the briefs. They're, they're pants. The briefs. They wear those, the, are, those two guys. What's he the got two on his guys neck? on the show are wearing pants. Well, now, yeah, that one, guy's wearing jeans. He's got jeans on. Why well, has he got a chain around his neck? Oh, shit. It's a belt. He's got a... Oh, he missed the last three. Oh, obviously. <laughs> That's that's a chain. Look at that. That's a chain. It's a belt. Oh, he went for the arm bar, Is but he's got a tap. It's all. He's oh, out. Tapped. He's out. He's done. Oh huh. God. But yeah, the the he, he, I don't he, I don't what, get the what, the what bikini. He, he David Carradine him with the belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I legally had an obligation to come here. <laughs> Is that that guy? I don't know. How <laughs> oh, they all look alike. So and so's legally <laughs> obligated to show up today. <laughs> Or contractually ob- obligated. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. You know, there's. There's. Uh. What's his name? The guy. That, wait. There, oh, this is a tag team event. Oh, they, oh, they're beating the shit out of another guy by backstage. What is going on? <laughs> Wrestling is crazy. What is going on? Oh, there's a female ref. That's the first female we've seen. She's a, uh, official though. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll never ask Roddy Piper why he doesn't wear pants. Yeah. Why do they wear that? Like, why do they? Where, where, who the hell came up with that's what you're wearing? Why not? What do you mean, why not? It's so weird looking. Yeah, I'm just going to go out there with some other... What the hell? They got an announcer with a mask on? Uh, uh, Lucha? Is that Luchador? Rey Mysterio? Is that Rey guy Mysterio. still alive? He had his like eye ripped out like last year or the year before. His eye ripped out? We talked about it on the show. I don't remember that shit. <laughs> Dude popped it out. Dude popped it out of his head? Is that yeah. why he's still wearing a mask? I think I, well, got, a Luch- I got a Luchador mask around here somewhere. I got it down uh, in Mexico. Are you an official here? Because you have officially given me a bone. Er. R. <laughs> bone goes, R. It's, he always goes R. Just always goes rogue. He, he goes a hard R every time. I don't. I can't have a conversation with this guy. No, not at all. Um, can we not get rid of this chick doing those uh, Nissan what's commercials? What's with Brie Larson? God, everything. She's so fucking annoying. <laughs> I don't mind Brie Larson. God. All I see is that, that bitch from uh, the league. It's, it's it. <laughs> That's all I see. If she didn't do the league, you would be all right with her. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh, no, it's true. It's a true statement. <laughs> that is your one complaint about her is her character in the league. <laughs> Gosh, she's terrible. <laughs> Cletus, I don't like her either. Okay, well. uh, yeah, uh, good. At least Why? Cat- because of the league? <laughs> <laughs> there's a damn, there's a, there's a uh, page that I follow that just started. It's on TikTok and all it does is play clips from the league. So that's all I see. Cause that's the only thing I ever react to. I just, is keep, league stuff. <laughs> just go like that up. I haven't seen I saw- anything non-league related in like a month now. <laughs> Rafi was on like, this was an old interview. Oh, Rafi, it's he, great. He was on Conan, right? Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about, I was like, hey, Conan, so I was like, all these <laughs> awful things these guys make you say and do on the show. He goes, funny thing is, they don't make me do anything. <laughs> he goes, it's, it, what does they call it when it's ad-libbed or whatever? It's, uh, uh, improv at all. Improv. He goes, well, that <laughs> show's deep. improv. And then Conan goes, what? He goes, oh, yeah, no, I just, yeah. it just comes to my head and I say it. <laughs> Look, he's like, when I said, I come when I shit. 
Yeah, that was me. I, I said that. <laughs> Look me in the eyes, Brian, so Sometimes I can finish. Sometimes I see when I ask. <laughs> Yeah, look at him so I can finish. Look at me. <laughs> look at me, Brian. The brown note, that episode was so freaking great. Like, it was amazing. Dude, I got to go. Lizzie asked me about it the other day. She's like, you going to go back and watch it? I go, I tend to watch it in the beginning of football season. Or, well, before that. I, right, I catch right, it in right. the summertime. Before. Because I want to get, I wanna get ready. Uh, but the uh, the episode with, with Rafi and, and Seth Rogen. And at the end, he's like, he's burning down the house and stuff like this. He's like, well, you told me to take care of it. He's like, so when I told you to take care of my cat? Yeah, this is what yeah, you did? Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, he's burning that car. He, he's yeah. burning Brian's car up. He goes, Rafi, what are you doing? What? You told, you me, told me to take, take care, care of it. it. Hose on row two over there. Jesus. Oh, but yeah. No, it's... Uh, Good. Because he was talking about, he's like, yeah, people just come up to me and just yell the weirdest stuff. And he goes, the weirdest thing is someone's come up to me and yelled, I come when I yell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just like, ah. He's wild. And he plays the same, essentially the same character in uh, Big Mouth. Big, Big Mouth? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. He, he voices uh, Jay. Ruxin's wife? Yes, Ruxin's wife. She still got it. Dude. She's had it. And she still got it. Yeah, never and lost it. Never she was, uh She was on, what, My Name's Earl or some shit? Okay. Yeah, something like that, yeah. yeah. So I've been watching old shows. I, we talked about it a million times, but I'll, I'll fast forward just a hair. But I've been watching Home Improvement, so you've been watching. I've right, been watching right. progressing of that show. Right. But it, My Name's Earl is up next. Like okay. the, It says it's coming. I go, it's a good show. I think I'll watch it. I think I'm going to yeah. watch it. I had I, I had my fill at the community, and I'll tell you what, I love watching community. I love it, too. And I go through everything, but it's a really emotional show. What do we got here? Uh, fun fact, Nick Kroll's dad run slash ran a private CIA Okay. Okay. All right. That's cool. All right. And um, I, I thank you for knowing and, that. And Nick Kroll's awesome too. He's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, uh, just I mean, just, I love I love all the guys on that show. Yeah. Like, just they're awesome. I actually went when that show was like in its like heyday. Mm -hmm. They had uh, the league live. Okay. Where all the guys were doing their stand up. Ruxin didn't wasn't there, but uh, Pete was there with his wife. But Pete didn't do stand up. Yeah. So. They just kind of showed up at the end of the show for like a Q and A type thing, yeah. but it was it was Kroll, it was Andre, and it was uh, Brian, Kevin. Yeah. But uh, they they did their stand up, which they were funny. I yeah, enjoyed it. They're funny. Yeah, yeah they're I had funny a good guys. time. Mm, nice, cool, 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 cool. Oh God, it was better than Impractical Jokers live. Uh, I've never. I've, I, I'll be honest. I've never saw a whole show. I've never seen a whole show. I've watched. I, I've watched. Like Boner loves a it. ton of it, right? Yeah, he, he and I left my. I, I watched it. and I left my ass off. Do you? They got an episode coming up where Post Malone's going to be on it. Okay. I'll watch it. I can't believe they're still relevant, right? I figured that it would have died out like twenty years no, ago. No, man. They just and, and they lost. Uh, Joe's gone from the show. He's not on it because he was trying to apparently like save his marriage and stuff like that. Like he had some issues at home, uh, but. It hasn't been as great since Joe's left, but it's still funny. Yeah. Like, I still laugh. Like, if I'm flipping through the channels and I want to find something to watch, Impractical Jokers is there, I'll I'll watch it. I have a ton of it, like, on my DVR and uh, fire it up and watch a few hours of it. What the hell's a DVR? Um, with my cable box, you, which you record your stuff on? Like, if you want to record something? Like, say... Like, TiVo? Okay, yeah, like a TiVo. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Sal is cool. He goes on uh, Legion of Skanks from time to time. What the hell's that? I don't know. Have any of y'all seen Undateable with Krista Ella and Brent Morin? Did a live season eventually with the two comics. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Those are all foreign words to me. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. He's just angry. He's all amped up. Yeah, and no, I don't know what that it's is. All jacked up on Mountain Dew. Never, never heard of it. It's going to come at you like a spider monkey chip. Hey, look, there's a Harry Potter game. Hey, it's an owl and a ghost. Harry Potter. It's Legacy. Something. Oh, it's about to say the name, but I think it's called Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter. Something Legacy. Okay. What the hell is it? I asked Dave to Google it, but he'll go down another rabbit. I got. I googled it last time. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. There you go. Okay. There you go. Oh, uh, Port Key. Whatever games. 
No, I mean it, it's Portnoy it's, games. It's no, it's not Portnoy. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's just the first ever thing. Raiders, let's go Raiders. Robert Aaron's in the house. What's going on? What's going on? Oop, oop. Are we going to cover this Aaron Rodgers darkness retreat? We can. Oh, we definitely have Aaron Rodgers on the on the docket for tonight. I say we talk about it right now. Let's do it. But uh, what do you want me to Google? What are games? Were, oh, the undateable thing? thing. That's not my problem. That like Google brings up the top freaking thing. I mean, uh, I think I think Busby was out to some bullshit. I think he was like trying to get me to Google because he knew that's what that's what that was. But you you know how Busby rolls. Yeah, like, yeah, let's just be honest. Yeah, like, yeah. When, when's your next stand up routine, Busby? Yeah. Uh, are we gonna cover? Uh, so I say we talk Emma about Emma Watson. What's wrong with Emma Watson? She all right? Just okay. You gonna kick her out of bed for eating crackers? Mm. Uh, so Aaron Rodgers is a nut bag, not nut job, right? Like he said it right the first time. I think a nut bag, another word for nut bag, is a nut sack. Yeah, <laughs> but like, he, he's like, well, I got to go take a bunch of hallucinogens and I'll make my decision. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. He's just going to go live in the darkness for three days, um, eat once a day and just be in a dark room. Urban Rye. Hold on. Did I go there? Hold on. I got to find out where that it's is. It's a great restaurant. You were just there. I know. Did you go? I got to find out. If what I gotta, do you mean you don't know? I got to see signs of it because I everything's in pictures, like in my head. <laughs> he doesn't. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Looking for a fun way to win 25 times your money this football and basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash play100 and use code play100. That's code play100 at prizepicks.com slash play100 for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. I know how to read words. No, I'm just saying, you know, if I don't, but... I went off the strip like a couple times this week. He's got a bunch of books here. None of them have words in them. They're they all, all pictures. pictures. Listen, I ended up in like an Evil Knievel's daughter's pizza joint this weekend and got I was like it's somehow in the middle of a fight. So I have to look up stuff. Uh, Cowboy <laughs> takes me to the weirdest places. All right, so it's not. It's off the strip. I know where I've seen it. I know what this is, but no, I didn't go there. S- I didn't smoke go some time. peyote. Stop eating and wait for the darkness to speak to him. Yeah. Like. He's just that one's so high on the, uh, that one's so north on the strip though it's off of uh, Sahara Avenue. So you uh, did it's not on, go. It's on the left side of uh, it's on the the west side of uh, 15. If it's not next next to White Castle, he's not making it. I went to White Castle this time too. I, I know did you go. did. I you did. always I go. Did. I did. That's what. <laughs> Maybe we could have uh, used some uh, Rogers dealer. Oh boy, no, he's more of a. He's just doing stretches and, and having yeah, vitamins. He's got a TB12. Yeah, right? yeah. No, Rogers is just getting high as a fucking kite Rogers out in the middle is, of the woods. Rogers is trying to better himself and all about the self accolades. Accolades. Mm. Tough word when you've had a few beers. But because, like, he talked about it, like, but after they were knocked out and stuff like that. And he was like, oh, if I'm in the right situation, I could definitely win another, another MVP. And Gronk jumped on his ass quick. He's like, bro, why are you talking about MVPs? Like he's like because I just won Super two Bowl. Back to- Super Bowls are a lot more fun to win than MVPs. <laughs> but not if you're not winning Super Bowls, but you're winning MVPs. I mean, right? Imagine this: you haven't won a Super Bowl in ten years, but you've won back to back MVP in the last three years. Okay, it sounds a lot cooler to win MVPs, right? I mean, <laughs> I, I'm probably like like I'll I'll trade those I'll trade those two in yeah. for one Super Bowl. Yeah. Is, yeah. is that what the exchange rate is? I don't know. I don't probably know. probably a bit different. Here's what I know: is it's like Pat Mahomes is one like one of the first quarterbacks in the last 10, 15 years to win the league MVP and win the Super Bowl. Mm. 
And so, it seems to be uh, wanting to have a participation for being a, he just wants to be himself. Yeah. And he wants to be just weird as shit. You know, some people hit that mark, right? They hit it where they're just like, I want to be weird so you can you talk about me and I'm at the top right. of mind, everything like that. Uh, Chad Henney just won a Super Bowl. I think he'd rather have an MVP. I don't know. <laughs> Chad Henney's got more Super Bowls than Aaron Rodgers, Dan Marino, and he, uh, Justin Herbert, and uh, throw out another quarterback. Did you combined. see his? Did you see his uh, total winning what, or uh, cash? Uh, what he's made over his career? How many million? Yeah, it's so thirty-eight million or whatever yeah. it is. It's like you know, yeah. guy when just, the Super Bowl was over, he's sitting there on the field with a beer in his hand. He has a picture taken of himself. He goes, "Hey, just want to take this time just so that you know I'm enjoying a beer." And he's like, "I'm just going to retire now." Like, he's got two Super Bowls. Yeah, I think he's all right with it. I'm gonna double check that number though. What <laughs> Super Bowls? No, no, no. The uh, the the. The uh, career earnings and shit, because oh. it flashed up as like a quick, a uh, quick shot. So I was like, okay, there's no way he's retiring because he. No, oh, no, Aaron Rodgers ain't retiring. He's gonna end up on another team. And here's the thing: like, listen to ticket today in Sturm. He's a big Green Bay Packers fan, right? Mm-hmm. Huge. Grew up in Green Bay, or not in Green Bay, but Wisconsin. Sure, sure. Grew up sure. a Packers fan. Yeah. Loves them. He's sitting there today talking. He's like, I just want someone to take Rodgers away. I'm done. And he goes, and here's the thing. I understand we're going to be awful next year without him, but I'm okay with that because I'm just you. done with him. I told you and that he's people like, are ready he, for the he's, old he's timers to get there, out. But it's not even that. It's He's sitting there and he's looking and, like, something came out the other day about uh, Pat Mahomes and how he likes to spend his offseason. Mm-hmm. And he likes to spend his offseason spending time with his receivers mm-hmm. and his tight end on improving and getting better. And Aaron Rodgers is like – He's to the point in his career, he's like, just tell me when the first game is. I'll be there. Yeah. And then he has no time, no practice time, any time with his his all his all rookie receivers. He has no time with them. But then the minute they're not on the same page, he throws them under the bus. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, they were there for everything in the offseason. <laughs> Where the hell have you been, man? <laughs> right. Like, bro, like. <laughs> I practiced this a million times with Jordan Love, and we hit it every damn time. <laughs> We're killing it. You show up, and I, I can't catch anything. <laughs> God. I'm sure Henny is fine with it, but it has to be a, a it's thing when people need to Google you as a former pro athlete. I mean, I know who Chad Henny was. Yeah. He showed up a few weeks ago in a game, with the game that uh, Mahomes got hurt. Yeah. And, Comes in and leads the team on a touchdown drive. Yeah, got a, yeah, got a yeah. touchdown drive. Out. Who needs practice when they are so tuned in with himself? <laughs> I mean, he's so in tune with the universe. It's on. It's fucking. It's scary. absurd. Yeah, it's, it's scary. absurd. But I think I think he's right. Right. So I've said it. I've said it. Hey, oh, L Studs in the house. What's up, L Stud? Cheers to you, pal. Good to see you. Good to see you. And I, I, I think it's. I told you, man. It's time to let these old dinosaurs just. Go to bed. And I'm glad that Brady retired. He finally retired, and he says he's done. He filed his letter, which no one even fucking ever know. Well, the of. funny thing was, so, so he filed his paperwork, right? Yeah. They say that put the end of it. And J.J. Watt comments is like, paperwork? I didn't know there was no paperwork. Just so you know, I'm not filling it out, but I'm done. I'm done. I'm hanging them up. <laughs> but you have Aaron Rodgers that's still holding on, which he's not as old, I don't think, as Brady, obviously. He, but, no, he's not. And then you have Matt, uh, Matty Ice or whatever. It's like, okay, listen, it's, it's just time for you guys to be done. And yet you have to accept the fact that you're probably going to suck. Right, you, they're gonna suck because one, they weren't that great. They, I mean, they weren't making the playoffs with Rodgers. So shit. I mean, you know what I mean? They had to like hope that some crazy ass prediction. Actually, they had to win and get in. Right? They had to beat Detroit to get in. They Detroit had to beat. Stomped. Curb stomped them. That's how you know. Ah! You, that's how you know you're done. Was when you have to win to get in at home. They were they weren't on the road, right? They were at home. They were in Green Bay, right? They were in Green Bay. They were at Lambeau Field. and They couldn't fucking beat the Detroit Lions. Yeah, because like we that's good. how you're done. That's no. uh, that's how you're done. You know what I mean. And so he should be done. Bring in love. Let him play. Let the kid play. You know what I mean. No, I mean it's it's going to be Love's team unless they trade for someone else or something. Well, like that. Well, I think he's gone. Or draft someone. I think uh, he, Jordan Love. No, no, no. I think I think I think Rogers is going somewhere else. No, Rogers is definitely going. Somewhere. Yeah. There's no way in the world he plays in Green Bay next year. I agree to that. I agree. I, I don't think it, I don't think there's any way he plays in Green Bay next year. I think he slides hey, into Green the Bay Raider is role. Done with them. Go to the Raiders. That's fine. Hey, go to the Raiders and, hey, do what Derek Carr did. Be just good enough to not get you in the playoffs. Same as last year. You know what I mean? But now he's like, back with Devontae Adams. He has a really good – he's got the uh, – he got Hunter Renfro instead of uh, Cobb. He's got a pretty good defense. He's got a good good freaking running back. He's got Josh Jacobs I, back there. Cletus, I'd trade for – I'd trade Rodgers for sure. What do you think they'd get for him? Nothing. 
No team is going to. No, no, no. They're, they will get. They will get first round picks. For, they'll they'll get a few first round picks. It's going to depend on what team he goes to. Raiders aren't going to trade that shit up yeah, or trade for that. Yeah, they because will. it's just it can't. You can't Why? give up everything on a guy that's like got one year left. One because I think that's all you get for Rogers, right? When you trade for no, him or whatever, I, mean, I think he's only got like one or so years left on that contract. I mean, it just depends, right? I'm like, telling you. I say Green Bay bends the knee and pulls it out and sucks it up for one. No, I don't think so. I don't I mean, think so. That's cool if you want to not make the playoffs again next year. They already seen right? what they can do. Hey, guess what? You're not going to make the playoffs with Jordan Love, and you'll probably have a higher draft pick. I, I, I if I was Green Bay, I'd be Jets done. would give multiple picks. Oh, sure, yes, but they're going to give those picks. So, I, but, where, but where's that card going? I, don't, I honestly don't think Aaron Rodgers will go to the Jets, and here's why: because he doesn't want to follow the same career trajectory yeah. as Brett Favre because yeah. that's what Brett Favre did right yeah. he went from the Packers to the Jets and I don't see Aaron Rodgers doing that I don't see him okaying a trade to the Jets or something like that but not um, only that but you're playing you're playing in fucking Jersey you know what yeah. I mean like don't you want to play somewhere go play in Vegas and you're already in the desert hey look he completed his con- contractual obligation to show up there you go yeah just just you're already in the desert you can drive 45 minutes out and fucking do as much as peyote as you want. You know what I mean? Like, shit, you're already there. <laughs> he goes to Jets, and then he goes to Minnesota. I mean. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think he wants to go out west. I, 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 I don't think he's going to follow the same path that Favre did. Uh, and the next thing you know, he's he's going go to he's gonna go to the Jets. Mm-hmm. He's going to go to Minnesota. He's going to be locked in on this whole uh, – Scandal with the you know Mississippi College with the girls volleyball team and things oh, like that. And then he was suing everybody. Yeah. That dude's suing everybody's and, 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 ass. Oh god, yeah, he is. Uh, it's just great. He's like he's suing Pat McAfee and stuff. And McAfee's like, bring it, bro. Do you want him to bring it? Because let me tell you something. Who's got more money and a better legal team? I don't know. I, I, I don't who's know. got more money? Uh, McAfee. Net. Net. I guarantee you Ooh. now, McAfee probably is worth more than Brett Favre is now. Look it up on your uh, phone. Look it up uh, on your phone. Here's Vegas something is a better I, spot, but Jets are desperate. Here's Jets are desperate, but here's what I want for the Jets. Hold on. Here's something out of left field. What is? Uh, what about Rodgers to the going to the Colts? That came in first. Why not? I don't know. Would he go to the Colts? One. Do you think he'd go to the Colts? Sure. Go play in the Dome? He's been playing yeah. outside for so damn long. Got Jonathan Taylor. You Decent got- receivers. Not bad receiver. Pittman. Decent, decent offensive line. Yeah. Although, I mean, they were hurt this last year, so they didn't play that great. Man, they but... had a top defense, though, at one point. Like, they were unstoppable. Like, they were crazy at the beginning. Like, last year and then this year, they got, you know, they were tough because they were always out on the field. So, yeah. yay, nay? Um, you think it's a good spot? Good fit? <sighs> Pat McAfee's worth $20 million. Okay. We'll be back to your question as soon as Alan Googles this thing. Well, you asked me to you, Brett Favre is a hundred. Okay, which which one is which? I'm sorry. Brett Favre is worth more. No, how much is how much? Brett what? Favre was a hundred. McAfee's twenty. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to what was this? Oh, so Jesus. To what? What? Uh, I don't know about to his head, but it would be fun to see him in Miami. They ain't going to Miami. Eh. I saw a commercial because they were comparing uh, Hertz and, and Tua. They were in the, not comparing them, but they were in the same, you know, coming out of Alabama, thinking about that. And when I saw it, I go, man, is Tua going to keep playing? We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Vegas is a bigger spot, uh, but the Jets are desperate. The Jets will give up more than Vegas will, but I totally hey, think that he's an they absolute. They don't have to give anything up to get Derek Carr. That's I think Carr is going to the Jets. I think that's what's going to happen here. I want that more than anything because – Cole is just so no. We're, he he, it's the last thing in the world he wants. Yeah, is Derek Carr, and he's like, we're not getting him. It's like they just they just signed Jeez. some guy to their coaching staff who's involved with Derek Carr. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and stop you because I think I agree uh, with El Stud here. What about the Chiefs or what about New Orleans? And I think and I think that's what that was one. Whoever winds in dimes the most and gives them the largest contract, which probably will be the Chiefs. But the Jets can come in super desperate. Be the Chiefs. No, I'm sorry. Uh, New Orleans is going to wine and dine him, but the Jets are going to come in hot and they're going to offer more. And they're going to they're they're coming in desperate, and so he could be up there. But I think I think he's going to opt to play in the dome. I, I absolutely believe that he wants to stay like somewhere in the south, somewhere in the dome where he doesn't have to. I mean, let me tell you, he he's 
This guy has played in a dome his, almost his entire effing life. And that, when he was outdoors, it was still like sunny yeah. California. It was over in Oakland. You know, if it was Rodgers going like, oh, yeah, I'll go play in, you know, New Jersey or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I believe that more. I don't see Carr going out in the cold. I don't know why. I just don't see him going out in the cold. But if the money's right, if the money's right. The money. Where do you think he's you, – you see him landing in New Orleans, you see him landing at the, uh, the Jets up in Jersey. I mean, all the talk was was the was been New Orleans, right? The last one Everything has been New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans, right? Right, right, right. And, uh, that's where he went. He went and talked to them. New Orleans, apparently, them and the Raiders had a trade worked out. All of that stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, you can see that happening, right? But I'm waiting for it because I was sitting there and as they were talking about it and it was popping up. I go. It, I mean, the, the Derek Carr clock. Busby said possibly Carolina. Carolina would be another spot. They don't really have a quarterback there. I could see that um, happening. You, you got the new coaching staff out there and all that. Um, I could see that happening. I don't know. Like, There you go. Read that. Uh, I think Carr goes to New Orleans, but Saints want him to take a pay cut so Carr's not going Mm-mm. to make as much as he's looking for. I think he's going full contract, the highest number that's out on the table, and I think he should. And it's why his last, not? It's his last rodeo. It's over. Like right? I mean, he's not he's not going past this guy. He's going to get a crazy deal, a crazy uh, uh, number. Like he's going to make forty million dollars. And when I was sitting there watching, I go, "Holy crap!" They're, or, they're, there's no way the Raiders keep him on the pay. They have to release him because he's that's not. True. He goes, "I'm not waving my no trade clause." Yeah. He goes, Either like, you pay me. Or you cut me. Yeah, I want forty million. I want you to let me go. And they said, eh, no. And so he's going to try to call his bluff. He said, <laughs> "It's not happening, bro." <laughs> hey, man. After I think it, I think the Pro Bowl, they, they were think, like, "Hey, Derek, we got the trade worked out. You're going to go." <laughs> he's like, "Nah, I'm good, bro." I think I really do think the Pro Bowl helped him. I think the Pro Bowl helped him. It's some weird shit. He's out there throwing these perfect throws. He's out there. He's he's a likable guy. He's in the Pro Bowl. You know what I mean? After he's, getting benched. Yeah. <laughs> he got benched and he's still there. Would you ever have Carr, Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson? Yeah. Give me Lamar. I mean, let's be honest, right? Like, Lamar Jackson is, uh, he had a great start to last year. He was my guy. He, I was going to anchor him and win another championship. And, I enjoyed his middle finger to the Raiders after they shunned his ass. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I. Listen, I'm not on the side of billionaires. I'm on the side of the players that give their life for this game, and that like they want reasonable compensation. He's not. He wasn't asking for the moon, you know. Now that that extension was there for a reason. That forty million that was there for a reason. And he's like, you're gonna pay me. I, you're not franchising me. You're not doing any of this other shit or whatever. But I think the problem in and 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 uh, Las Vegas. What it was car right? You couldn't blame it on anything else. It wasn't defense. It wasn't. It wasn't anything I, else. Or parts around him. Yeah, and, and here here's what I what I'm thinking. Like so, Cletus just said Lamar's going to deal with injuries the rest of his career. He is, and I feel bad it, about it, that. But but if he plays for Baltimore, because Baltimore won't put any weapons around him. Mm-hmm. But yeah. if he doesn't hey. if he doesn't <laughs> sign with Baltimore, if you're watching right now, tell me who his number one receiver is, and then tell me who his number two receiver is. Exactly, Mark Andrews. No, well, I'm saying receivers, but that's what I'm Mark saying. Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews is his number one target. Yeah, but it's you know he has nobody to work with. They have not gave this guy a not, fair shake. Not even really a fair question since that offense is built around Lamar. It's it's not. Here's the thing. You took his number one receiver and traded him. Right? You had Hollywood there, which, I mean, Hollywood's not. He's not even that great. But he was good in that offense. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. He was good with him. I, I don't want any $50 million per season QB unless his name is Mahomes or Burrow. I mean, I don't know, man. There's, there's other quarterbacks I'll take, but... Um, Robinson and the kid from Texas. <laughs> but if you put Lamar on a team where he has some weapons around him, I think that's a different story, right? Because then Lamar doesn't – here's the thing. People dog on Lamar about his throwing and things like that, but he got better every year. He's been right? getting better. He's been getting better and better every year. Mm-hmm. Um there was a couple of years where we had a little bit around him, but they took all that away from him. And every year the running back gets got hurt. Some. Every year their first, second, third string running backs go down with the ACL tears. You know what I mean? Like the, shit. The, every the, everybody they draft, everybody the same they bring around. Bullshit argument was made for Mike Vick. Matt, Matt Ryan showed up. 
and suddenly the same dudes made the Pro Bowl. Uh, he's what? not a good passer. He's getting better is what we're saying from where he was. I he's, mean, yeah, like three years ago he was throwing balls in the dirt, but now he's like, you know, he's got a touch on, but he, but he does get hurt a bit. And he has got to run the ball, and he gets hurt. He's got to run the help. ball too much. But if you put him in offense where he's got some really good weapons around him, nope. just look out. That's all I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying paying fifty million a year, even though know, he's holding out because he's like, I'm t- I'll tell you why he's holding I, out. I think he's about. Uh, I think the last time I saw that was there about a hundred a million guaranteed away. Roddy White was supposedly trash with Vic, and a stud when a passer showed up. Roddy White wasn't a stud. Let me just say this, is he's been getting hurt, and he's put everything on the line for this team. It's time yeah. for them to pay him. And it's like, yeah. you don't want to pay him? Let him F and go. And some well, other team will pay him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Quit. You know, let's be honest. You want him over some other spare-ass uh, quarterback that they can't. There's well, a reason that multiple, Matt, multiple Pro Bowls. Derek Carr just made the Pro Bowl. Yeah, don't talk. Yeah, don't bring up that argument. Uh, Huntley just made the fucking Pro Bowl. <laughs> Yeah, so we ain't taking that argument as any type of goddamn Pro defense or anybody. Nothing in the NFL. Yeah, nothing. And yeah, okay, yeah, that was ten years ago, or whatever. They meant nothing then. Yeah, players look for reasons not to play in the pro. Freaking Josh, or went, Josh Allen. Josh Allen want to go play golf. Said he was hurt. And he couldn't play, but he sure should did play in a golf tournament. They could better pass with Andy Reid. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he was. You know, true. But I'm not just saying this about Lamar. I'm saying this about paying any QB. It's what you have to do to keep, you know, just talent around. I mean, it, listen, the price goes away. I, I used to complain about it every every year. I complain about it, and you'd be like, "Hey, man, that's just how it goes. It's, it's the price of everything hey. being increasing. It's, it's inflation. It's look where you're at, and how much you're getting paid, and all and, and everybody around. And every time there's a record setting contract come out, and then like there's guys that are due, they just get that pay. They get that money. They, uh, if but but you got to look at there's exceptions to that, right? Tom Brady never did that. Tom Brady took less every year yeah. so we could get more plays around him. Mm-hmm. And I think Pat Mahomes is kind of learning. Looking for a fun way to win 25 times your money this football and basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash play100 and use code play100. That's code play100 at prizepicks.com slash play100 for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash get100 and use code get100. That's code get100 at prizepicks.com slash get100 for a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. From that, and Mahomes is the fifth highest paid quarterback in the league. Yeah. He's not the highest. And at well, the end of the next year, he got his uh, a couple years ago. That's the reason right. he's not the highest. But like, at the, but here's the thing: like mm-hmm. at the end of next year, oh, oh all the guarantee money is done, and they could walk away from that deal. So, uh, what we got here? No, it's not. Draft a QB in the first four rounds every season. Cycle those dudes; they always have value. But but if if you're a good team, though, you're not getting that high first round pick, right? 
You're not always getting that. You're not always going to get he that said, guy he low. He says dig them out of the first four rounds. You're getting like four uh, rounds. You could just keep drafting quarterbacks. No, you can't. Burrow's doing that too. He doesn't want an extension, right? But now he uh, he wants his guys taken care of first. That, that's just a different. But he hasn't been in the league long like that. Lamar's been in the league for a long time. He's been getting fucking Burrow's hurt. still playing on his first contract. Yeah, Burrow's still right. on his first contract. and so, But he can go that way because he knows, like, if we don't pay these guys. Yeah. Then well, who the hell am I throwing to? You know what I mean. Higgins but, is gone. But, but in the case of Lamar, they're not bringing anybody in to to help him. Yeah. So if you're not going to bring anybody in to help me, where the hell's the money? I going? want all my money. Then. Yeah, pay me all right? my money. Now, if they were bringing players in, that's a different story. If I'm out running the the running back, and I, you know what I mean. If I'm if I'm the dual quarterback where I can where I'm out running anybody you put behind me. And this is all based. He's not calling his plays. Fucking coach is calling plays. Yeah. And if he's running, if he's got more rushing yards, all that, pay that mother, pay that mf'er what a quarterback and a running back make because he's that's a, what he he's deserves. a top five running back and a top five quarterback every year. Every year. You can't say that about <laughs> me. Any other player? Yeah. Right. Where he's top five in two different categories. Yeah. He's a top five quarterback and he's a top five running back. I, Every I, damn year. There was a couple of years where I was totally against Lamar, and it was when he couldn't throw the damn ball like four yards. Right? He couldn't even he couldn't even hit a guy a a, a, a what is it a screen? Yeah. He couldn't do it. He couldn't hit a screen. But he's worked on that since then, and now he's I swear to Wait. God he's the most valuable player on, on Baltimore's roster. Gr- great QBs make average receivers into top end options. Lamar just isn't great. Who, not, who's great? But, in your, who's great in your book? Then who is great in your book right now? And I just want to know, because hey. I've been watching. You know, obviously, I've been sitting around, you know, recovering in the mornings, watching all the rankings and stuff like that about like QBs. And let me tell you this: they have some. Some of these people have Herbert above Lamar. Some of these people have uh, Josh Allen below Lamar. And it's like after this season, most of them retired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's an awesome. That's it an is awesome, a very uh, interesting leverage game. Someone will pay you as a franchise QB, but is it a team you actually want to play for? Well, in Derek Carr's case, he's got no choice, right? He's leaving his team. His team's leaving. You know, they're just separating. His team right? got rid of him. Yeah, right? they're, they're, like, they they pretty much said that we're done with you, and he's like, okay, fine. And so he's going for the biggest contract. And I, are you going to blame him for that? I mean, he's not. He's not trying. They are not trying to keep him in Vegas, so he's got to go somewhere else. And what are you going to go? I'm going to take a pay cut and go to New Orleans, or I'll take a pay cut to go to Jersey? No, I'm going to go where the money is. Hey, yeah, and if it's it, indoor, I'm even more excited. Yeah. And if I got a lot of weapons, like I got, you know, Kamara, you know what I mean? You start piling up weapons. But I ain't going down there to share time with old uh, Taysom Hill either. His ass lineup is quarter, uh, tight end when I'm in the game. Well, they made Taysom Hill a uh, tight end, right? Yeah. And that was a big thing about Taysom Hill was, you. hey, there we go. we're, we're an you. hour I, in and I we finally you. got some chicks. It's coming. It's um, coming. Yeah, let's do this. Um <laughs> Cletus, give me Mahomes, Burrow, Herbert. I want my passer being a passer first, run last. Uh, I hate to break it to you, yeah. Mahomes and Burrow, they're they're passers, but they'll run on, on an instant. They'll but they're pass first, and even like but they're Burrow, pass first. Or, well, like what he's Allen, saying, Allen. Well, they run they run specific plays for him just to fucking run it. Yeah. Like and he's a passer first, I would say. But they like, uh, you know what? You're six foot five or whatever the hell he's, he is, two hundred and forty pounds. Yeah, just run it. Just truck this effing cornerback, dude. He's trucking some cornerbacks. <laughs> just toss him out of the effing way. But yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're telling me you don't want you don't want Josh Allen? Like I want Josh Allen almost ever over ever everybody. Yeah, I wish they stopped running Allen in the regular season. It's uh, there he is right there, doing some uh, shaving. I, I, I'm a huge Josh Allen guy. I've been that way since his rookie year. Right? When I have him on my fantasy the guy team, I just, want the run plays. The guy just knows how to win. Yes, he's had some trouble in the in, in the postseason and things like that. Um, I don't think that's his fault. I think that's some different. They change look up at, the play calls. Look at. I want Jared Lorenzen. You shut uh, your mouth R. right I. now. R.I.P. Where the hell? I got to get the picture out now. Moment of silence for Jared Lorenzen. Paul in uh uh yeah the hefty lefty uh, gone too soon uh, he's gonna get hurt I don't care how big he is he's gonna get banged up he turns the ball over uh, at terrible times he does definitely turn the ball over um but we got we got a little autographed hefty lefty picture there there we go um 
it's uh, Josh Allen's still young though. He's still learning. I look for Josh. I he's had an off year. He had an off I year. I fully expect Josh Allen to win two Super Bowls. Yeah, he should already won one. Right. Yeah. Um, I can't get it to look right. Yeah, there you go. But anyways, there you go. Yeah. Um, I I think Josh Allen's a hell of a ball player. Um, he's good at football. I I still, and I'll say it, and I'll catch some crap for this. I don't think Danny Dimes is as bad as people make him out to be. No, I mean we've talked about this before. Like, you you I, are like whenever I, you know do, certain, I, certain times I you do don't like. like him. I do like Danny Dimes. He runs a lot as too. a quarterback. I think he's someone you can build a team around. Um, look at what they did this year with some decent coaching. Yep. You know, with him. Um, yeah, I got, I got no problems with 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 him. I've I'm full, I'm, full, full, I'm fully on record with saying it, and I'll back it up. I said it when when Detroit made the trade. I think Detroit can win with with Jared Goff. Look at what they did this last year with him. Goff looks pretty good. Goff looked great this year. But can he do it next right? year? No, I it, think so. It's always that whole, you know, can you carry I, it over? I, I, I really feel momentum? like he can because, like I said, when we traded for him before he played one down for Detroit, Jared Goff was at his best when he had a run game. And that's what Detroit is building, a, a, run, a, a team that has a strong run game. Right, and you saw what he did with a good run game this year and things like that. Last year, he finished the year off, or two years ago, he finished the year off strong. He got hurt that that first year, and then came back and played pretty strong with the run game going good and things like that. I say that's any quarterback, um, right? Because it opens up the passing game. That's it, de- a, that's it definitely the, does. That's the foundation. It does of the fa- the passing game. So, so it's any quarterback that it, can throw it, it. Any any that can throw it with a good running back. That's any <laughs> any. Not any quarterback. Uh, who's got a good Who's got a good running back that that actually can actually move the ball? That sucks. Would you say Would you say Tony Pollard's a pretty good running back? And the Cowboys had him. And well, Dak they, Prescott missed how many games? And still led the league in, t- in interceptions. He's not. He's not. He, <laughs> he, how often did Tony Pollard actually play in the games? Um, like snap counts t- towards the end of the year when Dak was throwing he, all those interceptions. He broke his a leg. lot. I mean, you're going to throw Dak uh, in there. Yeah, Dak sucks. Guys like McNair and Nab were known for running but became better passers. It definitely can help. Hurts has made leaps and bounds since Alabama. Well, yeah. But I, I, I think that right there is kind of your argument for, for Lamar too, right? McNair and McNabb weren't great passers when they first came to the league, but they got better every year, and I think that's what Lamar is doing. McNabb used to be really fun to watch. Like, he was. That was a game that you like. You're like, oh, Philly's on. I'm gonna sit down and watch this game because you know, back in the day, we we had two channels, right? We were watching, <laughs> you know, we were watching it. We were watching Fox or we were watching CBS. It really depended on uh, you know what team was playing or whatever. And back in the day, hell, that both those blocks were taken. You know what I mean? You had two games and then you had two we, games. We watched whoever we watched the Cowboys or whoever was in their division playing. Yeah, and so and, when Philly and, would and come on, on the other channel, it was the Patriots. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it was Green Bay, it was Philly, and things like that, and so we got to watch these games. But yeah, I mean, it, as much as I really didn't like McNabb that much, he still was really exciting to watch. Yeah, I know I'm I'm derailing us a little bit. We, yeah. we always talk about like commercials we like and stuff like that. Oh, oh yeah, and especially with like Progressive, mm-hmm. and they're doing the TV Dad commercials right now with with Sinclair. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and they're great. Like he's great. Like. I love that guy. I was so glad to see him when it when it first popped up. I go, ah, yeah. oh, man, he's look at him. He's looking good. He looks good. He looks real good. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah, looking TV good dad's looking man. real yeah. good. Pro- Progressive has some, some of the best commercials. Like, yeah. let's just be honest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The whole you're turning into your your parents. Dude, oh, those are so great. Jesus. The I the one it. the one that just kills me every time is the elevator one. Like, I love that one. <laughs> I guess that was horrible. He, he's we're just looking. He's like, look, look. You see how everyone's facing this way, and you're let's let, let's turn around now. Uh. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Oh man, but yeah, no. Um, I, I'm telling you right now. Like, if if I'm a team, I I don't want Aaron Rodgers because he's not committed to the team, right? He's committed to himself and making himself look good and getting his own accolades. And then when he's not there to practice with the team and all of that stuff, he's 
and they're not doing good, he's throwing his play other his teammates under the bus. You think he'd do that if he went to another team? Like if he went to a new team, new coach, yes, no new everything, he'd just be like everything. I didn't know when the Aaron, first game is. Everything out of Aaron Rodgers' mouth is me, 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 me. Like crazy. He just he just wants he's he wants to build his reputation and his resume. <laughs> For what? He's it's over now. Like it's, you're you're at the end of your career, buddy. Like you he can still win an MVP in the right situation. In the right situation. Yeah. If I'm on the right team in the right situation in the a uh, good offense, I can win an MVP. <laughs> so can I, bro. Put me in the right situation and everything, I'll win an MVP. <laughs> right situation. Yeah, like oh I'm that just, was the lamest backbreaker I've ever seen in my life. I'm just Everything out of that guy's mouth is about him and things like that. And he's just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm done with Aaron Rodgers. I really am. Um, he'll pro, He's going to go somewhere, and he's going to put up some pretty decent numbers, but they're not going to win. Nah. He's not going to go on a team, and he's not going to win. I mean, I would say this. Listen, he, he goes to Vegas. I think he has a real shot. He's shot of making playoffs. It's a terrible division. Oh, yeah. Definitely make the playoffs. Well, but they ain't the going season. anywhere. But, yeah, you're not going anywhere, right? I mean. You're, you're not going to. One, you, you got to face the Bills. You got to face the, the Chiefs. You got to face the Bengals. Yeah. Like. Yeah. It's there's just trouble. And, and there's, 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 there's three quarterbacks I like more than Rodgers. Would you prefer to go to the NFC if you were Rodgers? Because it's easier, it's easier way to get to the Super Bowl. But, but the. the um. Packers already come out and said you're not. We're not training you to a team over here. <laughs> if we're training you, it's over in the other. You're going AFC. You're going AFC. <laughs> They've already come out and said it. So he's not going to play unless they cut him. Yeah. Which I don't see them doing. Right. Yeah. Like. Yeah, he should have make a bachelor's type show to see. Who will sign him next? But that's the thing. Like yeah, he should go full. The LeBron. Packers got the Packers got to sign. The Packers got to drop him for that to happen. Yeah, and I don't see the Packers doing it. What's like the current, uh, as done as they are with him, they're not gonna they're not gonna cut him. Let's see. Ahead of the twenty twenty two season, Rodgers and Green Bay Packers have agreed on terms: a three year, one hundred fifty yeah. million dollar contract. He's still got two years left. The three year extension began in twenty twenty two, and will. Uh, Two further option years. Yeah. If both are picked up, Rodgers will be under contract till twenty twenty six. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, what you sign that contract for if you didn't want to be there? Like, you know what I mean? Like, but he signed that contract for they traded away Devontae. Yeah, yeah. And then Devontae left, but Devontae was like, "Hey, I'd rather go play with Derek Carr," because he had to waive a no trade clause. He had a no trade clause. Yeah, and he wanted to. I mean, Devontae has been well spoken. The only re- the only reason why he went to Vegas was because of Derek Carr, and he wanted to try something new. Or what is his no, old pass was, from college? It, it was his qu- quarterback in college. Yeah, you know, and he was tired. He was tired of dealing with Roger shit. <sighs> like, like who isn't right? <laughs> like, like who's just that absolutely fucking like, tired of it? The, the, the home girl left him that he was engaged to, <laughs> and that girl's annoying as hell. <laughs> So, he, you know, that's the reason he just goes out in the freaking woods like, to just smoke. Uh, fucking... Lena Headley or whatever her name was. Like, oh, God. That no, was a... no, it wasn't her. Not her. Uh, what was her name? It equally as annoying. <laughs> not Lena Headley. Yeah, Hold on. Know. I got to go girlfriend's history. Can we do the history? I mean, he's never really. Oh, it was that chick, I think. That uh, oh, no. that ugly one right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Bush uh, Wacker McGee. <laughs> Shane Lane Woodley. Is that yeah, you know? Shane Lee Woodley. Yeah. yeah. Shane Lee Woodley left your ass. Yeah. She's. Yeah. No, dude. Like, it's like. He's had a list. He's had a pretty good list. Yeah, Danica there. Patrick. Yeah. Olivia Munn. The, the farts in our stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, that. I just never understood that. When it, when it popped up, I go, what's that now? Like, no, God, God, no. She was the one that, oh, we were dating for months before I knew he played quarterback in the NFL. What like, you, like mentally, yeah. like, <laughs> what? really? Like, yeah, shut up, you moron. Because my nine-year-old knows who Aaron Rodgers is. <laughs> he is the man. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. God. Right, let's get out of here. We'll be back at uh, nine. We're going to do some chugs. Okay. <laughs>
Get the, just, get, just get me the hell out of here. Enough Aaron Rodgers talk. We're not talking Aaron Rodgers uh, at let's all. Let's talk about this crispy. All right, so this is the shoots. King crispy, crispy. from the shoots. Um, it's it's a pilsner, right? Wait, this is your you, traditional what? When you say King crispy, is this a? a That's nam- the name of the beer, Mardi Gras beer or something like that. No, it's it's the, the, it's it's the King of the Crispies. Okay, okay. You know, pilsners are crispy beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Little crispy boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's got his dildo wand in his hand. <laughs> and uh, he's got a dildo wand, cowboy boots, and a mustache. I mean, <laughs> this guy likes to party. <laughs> he's riding a bicycle. Um, it's a pilsner, right? It's uh, To me, all your pilsners are thrown at in the same boat, right? Mm. The, you're not walking away saying, oh, man. That Pilsner was phenomenal. It was just all Pilsner. There's no, you drink a Pilsner, you drink a Pilsner, you drink a Pilsner. Just get easy drinking beer. They're, they're, they're easy. Pound. Easy beers to drink. Crush abilities through the roof. Roof. Um, you take it to Pound Town. 4.8% alcohol by volume. Um, but you can screw a Pilsner up, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like you can screw a lager up. They're simple beers that are crushable, but if you do it wrong, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You're not going to Pound Town. You are not. Uh, but but they, they did a good job with it. It is it is a Pilsner. It checks the boxes. We talk about checking boxes. This checks all the boxes. Um, if you like Pilsners, get it. Enjoy it. Have some fun with it. You, you, you crush them. You have some fun. This is a beer you grab. You want a shotgun a beer? Mm-hmm. This is what you grab. Yeah. You want to chug a beer? This is what you grab. Absolutely. Right? Uh, you're... You're doing a little barbecue action at the house, and you want to have a bunch of beers that you can just crush. Get yourself a get yourself a pack of this, right? You can crush these and just keep going throughout the day. Mm-hmm. So, but I mean, a thumbs up for me, yeah. And hell, I'm ready to go to uh, go drink with a bun- bunch of checks on a Tuesday <laughs> and, and get drunk drinking this. There's a brewery in Australia that I saw at Total Wine that has a barrel aged pilsner. I'm listening. I'm I'm in. Yeah, uh, grab it if you see it next time. We'll have it on the show. Yeah, you had me at barrel aged, and you had rapid Dave at Pilsner. Yeah, <laughs> Silicon Valley is coming to TBS. I just feel like I need to give that public now- that is announcement out there. Such a great show. Yeah, it's going to be old, dated, but it's still so freaking phenomenal. Like that show is so great. <laughs> inside out, <laughs> it's you so- go inside out. I mean, middle out, middle, middle out, middle out. out. Yeah, middle out. Sorry, you go middle out. That's all you, you need jerk to know. four of them off at once. Yeah. yeah. So anyways. <laughs> you four dicks at the same time. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Um, we'll be back here around nine. Yep. Um, we're going to we're gonna celebrate today. Okay. Because today is a lot of different things. Sounds great. Today is national a lot of things day. Exactly. Spoiler alert. One of them is... Ways to annoy Squidward. Okay. All right. So just be SpongeBob's so apparently. That's that's Sponge that's Bob that's what you have to look forward to, uh, amongst other things. But we'll be back, guys. We're going to do a couple of Patreon chugs and have some fun with it. If you're not part of the Patreon, join it because during every single one of my videos, I'm doing a giveaway. There you on go. Patreon. Perfect. We've got one winner this last week. I tried to do two winners. But only one person chimed in on it. Oh. So old school's got a sticker coming his way. Um. But keep your eyes open, ears open. Love you guys. As always, I'm Alan. I'm Rebel Dave. Talk to you guys later. Deuces. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. ChumbaCasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchases, full work limited by law, 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.